Now something happens, we get back into the theater, and guys know this, something happens, girls. We can never remember where we reside in the theater. We don't know where the fuck our seats are anymore. So now we're standing, if the movie started, we're just standing in the dark. Scared and alone. We just keep looking around. And not only is it dark because the movie has started, but the first 15 minutes of the movie are like a fucking cave scene. Right, the first half hour takes place on the dark side of the moon. So you're just standing there going, can they just do a flashback to a beach for like 10 goddamn seconds, please? You're standing in the dark trying to evolve into a higher species. You're trying to like become cat-like. If I open my eyes super wide, maybe suddenly I will be able to see figures. The person in that first seat right next to you is always just staring up at you, really pissed off too. This guy won't sit. Would you please sit? I have a cockeye and all I see is you in your flimsy box. He will not sit. Now you get to the point where you have to make some sound effects and shit. You're like, <laughs> Baby, I'm here. Finally get back to your seat and you're, you're angry. You've been standing over in the dark for five minutes. You finally go by everybody. You have that quick silent argument where you're like, wait, I was fucking standing right up there. I fucking take the fucking icy, take the icy. Stand right up. And the person behind you always gives you a shush. They go, shh. And it's not just a shush, it's like the most professional, like they went to shush school, right? It's like the best shush, like shush. Shush, la 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 Right, and you just snap, get yeah, like, fuck your mother, fuck your mother. Just tell me to shush. Shush, Ola. Fuck your mother. Take the icy. You sit down, you get situated, and I'll say this, man. The thing I love about, even more than the movie itself, I love, we all love the previews. You love the previews. And I'll tell you why, because it doesn't matter what anybody here does for a living. Whatever your occupation is, the reason you love the previews, it's because it's the one time in all of our lives that we all get to be a critic. <laughs> Because you know, as soon as that preview ends, you're going to turn to the person next to you and you're going to review that film. And whatever it is, you mean it. That first preview comes on, right? So, everyone. Where's the van? The van was supposed to be here. You, me, us. Looks good. I want to see that. But then, but then the next one comes up. The next trailer comes on, right? The next preview. Fate. Do 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 be do ding. Cameron Diaz. Do do ba dee do. Oh my God! I can't believe it's you after all these years. Do 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 ba ding 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 ding. Stupid. 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 Just a little one watt, right? I spent 19 minutes twisting around that hole. You ever think you got it in there and you fucking drop it and it smashes all over? Just splats and then all of a sudden you're like, fuck. And the person behind you is like, I just came. Here's the thing, we've talked about so many things. We've talked about love, relationships, heartbreak. We've talked about children, quests. We've talked about B and E's. We've spent a lifetime together. But here's the thing, we haven't talked about a little thing called a one night stand. 
no way of not. And we've all been there, and look, we've all settled. Everybody has settled on the one night stand. We've all been with a lagoon creature from time to time. We've all been with the I should get checked tomorrow-ish person. Doesn't that suck where as you're doing it, you're like, I'm getting something right now. I know it. Something very itchy is in my future. I know this. Sobs and creams are in my future, and I'll say that. Sobs and creams. <laughs> The one night stand, never good, never good. Here's the problem with the one night stand. You're with the person, you're doing your thing, and maybe you're a little bit drunk, or you took some X or something, and it all wears out. It wears out mid-hump, and as you're doing it, you just look at the person, and all of a sudden, it's like Abe Lincoln's wife, right? You're just like, yeah, oh. It's never good. Here's the thing about the one night stand. As soon as the one night stand is over, which is awkward enough, just the, after that weird, awkward sex, then there's that moment where you gotta like, you gotta get away from each other. And you don't really know what to talk about. You do that thing where you just, you get dressed really slowly. And you keep looking at each other, just doing like bizarre laughs, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you had nothing to talk about. I like your stuffed animals. <laughs> you know what's really weird? When the person that you're with, they want more than the one night stand and they start pushing, spending more time with you, right? Out of the blue, they start wanting you to call them. You should, you know what, you should call me. You should take my number, you should call me sometime. We should like totally hang out, you should call me, you should call me, right? You just to appease them, you take your phone out, you're like, yeah, well, um, yeah, give me your, uh, what's your number? As they give you the number, you're playing Tetris. You're like, mm. three, five, three, okay. Where's the long one? I need a fucking long one right now. I don't need a zigzag, I got 10 of those in a row. Ooh, big block, big block, like those. But something strange happens that when you leave that person's house, you need to call a friend and talk about what happened, right? Girls, you'll call somebody, four in the morning, you'll call your friend up. Guys, we will go to our friend's house. We will wake people to tell this story, right? We'll just come back, Jason, Jason, dude, I'm sorry to wake you up. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, bro. Do you remember that chick that I left with earlier tonight? <sighs> come here, smell my eyes. Just smell my eyes, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Every once in a while, you might have a one-night stand that's actually, um, all right, pretty decent. I had one, and I'm not trying to be braggadocious, but I'd like to talk about it. Follow along. So one night, I see this girl uh, at, a, at a club, and I go up to the bar, and we start, uh, we start chat-chitting for a little bit, and... Uh, yeah, I flipped that shit. <laughs> They're just words. They don't control us. Not anymore. I go up to this girl, and we start talking, and I'm getting vibe, you guys. I'm getting positive vibe. If I play my cards right, I could have some sexual tonight. <laughs> I invite this girl back to my place. And the key is, and a girl will tell you this, guys, comfort. A woman needs to feel completely comfortable when she's back at your place, okay? It should feel like it's her place. That's how comfortable she should be. Don't ever do this. Here's an example of what not to do. A girl comes into your place the first time. Don't ever lock the door and go, <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. <laughs> I'm just fucking up. Come here, let's box. <laughs> ah, no, don't do that. 